What's up guys, it's Christian here back with another video. This is going to be my 2020 Big East Tournament predictions. Uh, if you guys didn't see my Big 12 and ACC Tournament predictions, go check those out. Uh, let's get into this. Uh, Big East is a pretty interesting conference this year. Uh, let's say about five to six tournament teams, probably six, maybe seven if Xavier can find their way in there, but I'd say probably six, so... Let's get into this. We've got first up, we've got St. John's and Georgetown. I'm going with Mac McClung and Georgetown there to get it done. Uh, I don't know much about either of these two teams, but I know when you got a guy like McClung on your team that can just take over a game, you're usually going to have an edge. I'm going with Georgetown there over St. John's to get the win in advance of the second round. Uh, DePaul and Xavier. I have not heard any good things about DePaul this year, and only thing I've heard about Xavier is that they're on the bubble and they're trying to get some wins to get into the NCAA tournament. So uh, they're going to be playing desperate. They're going to come out ready, ready to go. So I've got Xavier there over to Paul, and I have Xavier advance in the second round. Uh, Georgetown and Creighton. I've got Creighton there. Creighton's one of the hottest teams in the country right now. They might end up getting a two seed when it's all said and done on Selection Sunday. So. I've got Creighton there over Georgetown, although I do think Georgetown can give Creighton a pretty good game. Uh, Butler and Providence. I've got Providence there. Providence is another team. Sorry about that. Someone called me. Uh, but, yeah, like I was saying, Providence, uh, I think they've got the uh, – that they're pretty hot right now. Butler's kind of been trending downward uh, the past few weeks, but I still think they're a pretty good team. But both these teams will win the tournament. But I've got Providence over Butler there. And I have Providence advancing to the semifinals. Xavier and Villanova. I've got uh, Villanova there. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Villanova's been playing pretty good lately. Uh, it'd be a big resume booster for Xavier if they could get a win over a team like Villanova there. But I think Villanova finds a way to get it done and advance to the semifinals. Marquette and Seton Hall. This will be a really fun game. Uh... You know, Marquette's kind of been leaking oil here as of late. Uh, so I, I, I think Seton Hall is one of the best teams in the country. They've always – they I've been really high on them all year. So I've got Seton Hall over Marquette here. I do think Marquette still gets in the, into the tournament. I think these top six seeds right here of Creighton, uh, Villanova, Seton Hall, Providence, Butler, and Marquette are the teams from the Big East that are going to get in the tournament. But, yeah, I've got Seton Hall there over – Marquette. Semifinal number one, Creighton against Providence. I've got Creighton there. Uh, I think Providence gives them a game and probably comes down to the last possession, but I think Creighton ends up uh, coming out on top. Uh, the way that Creighton's been playing lately, I honestly, I, I didn't think they were for real, but I've kind of watched a couple of their games, and uh, it looks like they're pretty for real, so I don't I don't know how far they're going to go in the tournament or anything, but uh, uh, they're de they definitely made me believers, so I've got Creighton there over Providence, and I have them advance to the championship game. Other semifinal, Villanova and Seton Hall. I think the, if it ends up like this, the winner of this game will win the Big East tournament. Uh, I've got Seton Hall here. Uh, I just think they're a little bit better than Villanova. Uh, like I said, I think Seton Hall is one of the best teams in the country. I've been high on them all year. I, I've been, I said that earlier. Uh, Miles Powell, I... I love that guy. He's a great player. Uh, so, yeah, I've got Seton Hall there. And then, like I said, I think the winner of that Villanova-Seton Hall semifinal, if it ends up being that way, wins the tournament. So, I've got Seton Hall over Creighton in the Big East Championship game. I think Seton Hall wins the Big East tournament and rides a lot of momentum into March. So, there you have it. Those were my Big East tournament predictions. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you again later for my Pac-12 tournament predictions. See you then.